Welcome back everybody, my name is Merle, and today I'm bringing you an explore video. I apologize profusely about my absence as of lately, um, I've, I've actually been watching the Call of Abyss tournaments, the Worlds, and I honestly have to say that, you know, those guys deserve a lot of credit. They did a very, very good job. I watched every, every single one of the games. And honestly, like, they, they just, they gave it their all, and they did us all proud. And we should all, you know, give them just a little bit of thanks for, for, uh, for just playing this game at that level and, you know, showing everybody that this game is not just a joke. Personally, I, 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 I appreciate that because I, I love this game a lot, and I know there's a lot of other people that do too, so... Now the Explorer actually has three different play styles and the first one being a aggressive play style where you actively go towards the ciphers and you don't worry about collecting your treasures. And I'll explain what the treasures are here in, here in a few minutes too. Um, there is the passive play style where you go for a treasure before you start on your first cipher. Um, and then there's the passive aggressive playstyle where you interconnect both of the playstyles. And I'm gonna show you guys all three of those actually. Uh, this first playstyle I'm showing you guys is the passive, as you can tell. Um, I immediately went small and I'm trying to stay away from the hunter. Now, whenever I do collect this, this is going to display my location to the hunter for a period of, of seconds, but that's okay, I'm not, I'm not worried about that, because usually by the time you get to your first treasure, somebody's already being chased anyway, so you don't usually have to worry about that, and these treasures, what they do is you can complete one cipher up to 50%, and you can collect, I believe, two treasures. You might be able to collect three, but I haven't really gotten that far into it, because it kind of takes a long time to collect it. A, treasure so realistically having three treasures means that you're kind of wasting a lot of time too Oops. that was really strange I didn't even, didn't even hit the cipher it's actually an, an issue that's been occurring lately whenever you scroll or pan over a Cypher. I've noticed that it's been happening to other people too, whenever they're healing. Uh, whenever you pan open a Cypher, it'll act like you're actually clicking on the Cypher. Back to what I was talking about, the treasures. Um, you can complete it to 50%, and uh, you can actually use this as an effective borrowed time tool. And it, it, it works most effective in a situation where you have multiple kiters because they tend to have borrowed time. Now in a, in a passive play style, going ahead and collecting the second treasure isn't the worst idea, but right now I really should be trying to help save. But because of that cipher issue, that kind of messed me up, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect the second one real quick. And it looks like they're not doing a horrible job. Explorer is actually a very, very decent decoder, so. Go ahead and 
down the cycle. Personally, I would I would categorize the Explorer primarily as a decoder, and he's secondary as a saver. He's not really a kiter. His uh, his his ability isn't really the best for trying to get away from hunters. However, you can use it to save people. Gonna worry about that third treasure. side. Alright, let's try the aggressive style I truly believe that in a team set environment, Kurt really could act as active decoder for a team. Um, it would it would require the team to have a little bit better kiters, unfortunately. But usually that that, that tends to be the requirement anyways. So, it's not really that big of a problem. Your team needs to have really good kiters in the first place, to be quite honest. Looks like I got her to gate to give up. Ooh, that's scary. It's 
So in an aggressive style, you're going to be focusing on going straight for the ciphers and for saving people off of chairs. You're not really going to be focusing on getting a treasure. If you do, it needs to be in an optimal situation, is what I argue. Where you can actually spend time, and right now we really don't have time to spend because somebody's already in the chair. Well, I'm trying to take a hit forward here. It's not really working out. Try and body block a little bit. Nope. I still got her. This Geisha is not going to give it up. Well, rip. We tried, Gardener. I'm sorry. See if I can get some heals from this forward. Yep, see it happened to him too. I didn't want to sit her down because I'm right here. Not really sure about that one. Maybe that's just a better chair over there. What would really help is if I made my skill checks. It's really nice to have a treasure right now too.
Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Might as well do it now. That is a more aggressive style approach. Oh! And we got out. Nice. Alright. <laughs> I will take that one. Let's see how our friends are doing. And they made it out. And the forward made it out. Good game, Geisha. Good game. This time, I'm going to be installing a passive aggressive play style. And in this one, I'm going to go small and I'm going to ignore the closest cipher to me. I'm not going to worry about decoding it. I'm just going to start running towards my treasure. It appears my treasure's right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this cipher here. What I'm gonna do. Oh, that was a lag spike and a half. Is I'm gonna wait until somebody is caught out. Or until the cipher's completed. One of the two. It's getting some lag this game. Good for me. Skill checks. Looks like she's still chasing somebody. Oh. That was a close one. How did she have time for that?
This is my preferred playing style. Usually you can get one cipher done. That right there doesn't normally happen in these lag spikes too. Not really sure what's going on with this hunter. These lag spikes are something. It's evening out for the most part, but. That was me. <laughs> hey, we got a cipher done in the twenty first century still. So. work on this one still. It's like the priest, oh, the priestess already did it. Did, if I can talk, the priestess already did it. All we need to do is get this to 50%, or 51% for these. Get the most even. And now let's head to a panel. Teleport is most definitely up. So that's more than likely going to be a problem. Just like that. As soon as she chairs him, she's going to probably teleport to one of these two panels. And it's going to be this one because they ran this way. Well, rip friend. The mechanic tried. That's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the Explorer video. Again, Congratulations to everybody that was in the Call of, of the Abyss tournaments. You guys did a fantastic job. I enjoyed every bit of it, and I analyzed as much of it as I could, and I took from it what I would. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always...